The man was burned in the mouth by the ice cube, but he was shocked by what was inside. The ice cube was hiding a mammoth that had been stabbed to death. The woman rushed to the refrigerator to check, and what she saw inside left her in a daze. Oh my god. Inside the refrigerator, a miniature world appears. It's a miniature world where every plant and tree is exactly the same as on Earth. They had their own production line, but the pace of life inside was so fast. It's as if everyone has pressed the fast forward button. Time flies by. Looking at the two people's faces, they were baffled. This is still the second hand refrigerator that they bought, but there is one thing that makes them very confused. This is obviously the medieval period. The mammoth has been extinct since the ice age. Then they gave the mammoth a big funeral. They buried it in a flower pot. Done. The two men who couldn't resist their curiosity opened the refrigerator door again. After only 6.66 seconds, the world inside has evolved from the Middle Ages to the Industrial Age, and just as the two chatted, countless tall buildings rise from the ground. Two workers spotted them. Bag staring at us all day. I don't know. I'm tired of looking at that broccoli in her teeth. They look for a few seconds, and inside, hundreds of years have passed. The world is still moving fast. In the blink of an eye, planes have started to appear in the sky. It looks like modern society has arrived. Suddenly, a nuclear bomb fell. Mike is knocked out by the shockwave. The world inside was instantly destroyed. His face was blown red, as if he had been exposed to nuclear radiation. But the war in the refrigerator continues. Countless nuclear bombs are detonated. Mary couldn't bear to look inside anymore. Mary closed the refrigerator door. An hour later, when the woman opened the door again, and what they saw inside completely overturned their perceptions.